Hello, welcome to Pablo Keys. Today I'm coming to do a beginner's lesson. I'm coming to do some lesson for the beginners. Absolutely beginners. If you are a beginner, the things you must know before you start to play the keyboard. Okay, let's go. With this keyboard, you can see that there is some black notes and white notes when i talk a black notes this is white and then you see this is black so you see two black keys follow with three black keys two black keys follow with three black keys it's like the same thing the same as you can see so this means it's a pattern it's like it's following a pattern so this means this sound here be the same as this one um, for keyboard for instrument any instrument we have notes that we give it to it and then we have key something we call key but for the key we have it's been given numbers like we have letters for that a bytes a b c is A to G. We don't have any key like H. We have A to G. And for the A to G, I'm coming to show it to you on the keyboard. You see this keyboard? Where the two black keys is. You see that there is some white note here. This white note is our C. It's our C. See, from the two black keys, see? The one, the white key that comes before the two white note, uh, the black note, that comes before the two black notes. This white key or the white note is, it becomes our C. So C following, you know. So it becomes C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Then following D E F G A B C B E F G A B C D E F G. So now you've gotten the idea of how you know the A B C D the how to identify where the A key is and then the B notice. Okay. So I said this is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then C. It goes, it's continuous like that. And then you see there, there is C here and C here. See, there is some interval. The name given to this interval is octave. So here some people say in the octave, play the octave. So C C from C to C X one octave. So if you want to know the keyboard that you are playing, the octaves of the keyboard, someone will ask you there. Ah, so the keyboard that you're talking about, you know, how many octaves? The keyboard is having how many octaves? So if you want to count this one, from C this C to this C is one, to this one is two, to this one three. To here four and then to this is five so meaning this keyboard this yamaha pxr e463 it's five octave keyboard it's five octave keyboard okay so from c to c x octave c to c is octave c to c is octave the same as from D to D will become one octave. The same max from E to E will become one octave. One octave. One octave. F to F will become one octave. And then I'm coming to show you how you will know the names of the black notes. If you want to know the name of the black notes, you, know, you will use this natural keys. The white ones you know, are normally known as the natural ones natural tone they are natural on their own but if you want to know the name for the black one 
please listen to me. Uh, we have sharp and flat. When we, we talk about sharp, when we talk about sharp, sharp is moving a half step forward. Sharp is moving a half step forward. Half step forward. And then flat is moving a half step back. So when I talk about half step, it's like when when you are being told to move a half step of a note, it's like from here to here. Half step, you know, there is no key in between. When we say half step, there is no key in between. So this one is half step. So I said half step forward. Half step forward will be sharp. So this one is C. If this is C and this note, this note will be C sharp. And then I said half step back is flat. So therefore, this is D. So if you want to give this uh, this one a name, you can see D flat. So this one becomes C sharp or D flat. C sharp or D flat. C C C sharp or D flat. Okay. I know you've gotten that idea. So I said half step moving, like moving forward, half step moving forward without leaving a key in between. So we have another thing called whole step. Whole step. If you play a note and you leave one in between, that one is whole step, meaning you've, you've left one. You can even say tone. Tone. So half step. Another name for half step is semitone. Semitone. And then whole step is tone. Okay. So I said half step, whole step. And then for now, I think you know the keys. You can able you, you will be able to identify the keys. This one is if this is F. If this is F, this one will be F, F sharp or G flat. So if this one is G, this one becomes G sharp or this one A flat. So if this one is A sharp, if you want to chord it with this one, this one will become B. So B, B flat, you get the point. So A sharp, B, this note, I'm talking about this note, become B flat. Okay, I know now you understand what I'm talking about. So I'm going to give you a formula on how to play. People will say do re mi fa so la ti do on all the keys. Do re mi fa so la ti do on all the keys. Simply, uh, okay. So this is our C. In case this is our C, we have something we call normally you see whole whole half whole 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 half. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. It means when you play the first note, you are in. You are going to the second note. You play whole step, second note, whole step. When you are going to the uh, the way you play half step. So I said whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So let me explain that thing to you. If this is C. And you are told to play whole. This is your whole, whole, half. You see, the half, I didn't leave any key. You go to whole. You go to whole again. You go to whole again. You go to half, half step. So, and then the simplest way to understand is the interval between me and far. The interval between me and fa is a half step. The interval between T and do is half step. So you see, do re mi fa so la ti do. I'm playing the major scale. I'm playing the major scale of C. Do re mi fa so la ti do. Let's go to C sharp and C. If we are playing C sharp, this is our C sharp. I said C. Moving half step front is sharp. So this one will be do. You go to hold. Re. You go to hold. Mi. 
for me to far me to far is half step so it means and it's good to do fingering more fingering exercise if you know the formula to how to play the notes you just do the fingering exercise and then you get to play the notes well and then you you you, you play the chord i'll give the chord how to form chord uh, on maybe on my next video this video is for the beginners please this video is for the beginners i'm doing this for the beginners if you know you are a beginner and you want to understand the keyboard the pattern on how to play the keys like all the keys this idea i'm giving to you, you can use it to play all the keys okay so this is d d to e. let e, let us use the same formula that I, I was talking about so if this is your d you play the note d first you go to o step o step me to five is half step going to so so is whole step la whole step t whole step do half step do t so do t la so fa so if you got it then you can do your fingering okay i know now you are going like you've gotten that concept of how to play the Remi Fa Sol La to do on all the keys. I can't give you everything for now. You can sit down. The best way for you to learn is to sit down. Keyboard it here. If you sit down, Amasa, you are going to blow it. You are going to understand it. Hey, for, for keyboard in the world, girl, Atta, you are going to know. Hey, nah, nah, stop, stop chasing girls. Atta, Atta. Sit down. If you are a beginner, sit down. Sit down and then stop chasing girls. Okay. Wait, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, but let's concentrate. Okay. In the, I was talking I was talking about something. Uh, let me let me okay. Uh detector. My name is Pablo Keys. My number is zero two seven seven one one six three zero zero. In case you didn't get what I was saying, you can WhatsApp me. I will explain more on that to you. But for now, our next lesson, our next lesson will be on how to form cut, how to form root cut, and then how to invert it, the cut, how to form root cut, and how to invert it. This video is for the beginners. The beginners, I'm on you. Please, I'm on you. There are some people who are they are masters. But if you ask them to play, maybe even e flat to cry they don't know the key which is e flat this is e this is the flat they don't know that they all they know is to play the f you see them playing you see them playing but what they are playing crampo they don't know the note that they are playing so if someone asks them to cheat crampo they, they will they will be finding it difficult so let's go and one thing that i want to add up one thing that i, I want to add up uh, you see the notes I played. Do re mi fa sol la ti do re ti la ti mi mi do do mi. You can use the fingers. Let me teach you the fingers for C. Like this one will play do. The C. This one will play do. This one will play re. This one will play mi. This one will play fa. This one will play do. This one will play re. Mi. This one will come to play fa. Ni so. This one will play la ti do. Is it continuous? It's like it's like fast, fast. So you can do more fingering exercise. Please, this is part one of the video. This is part one of the beginners video. More videos on beginners will be coming. So I like it's like I want us to start everything from the scratch. So more videos will be coming for the beginner. So if 
to having subscribed please subscribe because the video that are coming now will, will, will let you understand the keyboard if you want to play other keys no listen the be beginning of everything is very important because what you are there like me ni mo asha so no the mad na na wo wuti le mu inti da the mad no say oya wrong if you know if you want to learn the right thing then you will be fumbling the one why deliberate and it is better for you to learn the good thing at the beginning okay for now no part two of the video will come okay thanks thanks for watching please subscribe